This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Hello to our beloved viewers! Welcome to... Business. In this talk show, it will give you some ideas, knowledge, and real experiences about the business world. Recently, many businesses are arising and also failing because of the pandemic. And together with you, we will be your hostess for this show. I am Shaival Dulgulao. I am Renz Ramirez. And I am Kate Signoran. It's a new day and it's a new afternoon to start with a fresh and timely topic. For today's show, it is about the dynamics of competitive rivalry and we'll be meeting later with a number of business professionals who will share their company insights and experiences and how they overcome those challenges. So, are we all set? Yes, Rans, but before we proceed to our main topic, let me ask you first, ladies. How's your day? I'm in good shape, Kate. I'm also doing well, but because of the pandemic we're dealing right now, it is quite difficult for me to see both of you face to face. Yes, I feel you shy, but let's not keep our audience waiting. So, let's get down to business! So today, we are going to tackle and expand our own understanding about competitive dynamics. Let us welcome Ms. Shane Takas Takas and give her a round of applause. Thank you and hello everyone. Before we proceed to the main topic, can you please give us a heads up by explaining what competitive dynamics is? Sure, why not? So, competitive dynamics is a firm's total set of actions and responses to all competitors within the market niche. It makes the firm alert in the developing scenario in the industrial world that they could not just fold their arms watching the changing environment. Well, that was a very detailed, informative explanation. Thank you. Okay, another question. Are there any requirements in competitive dynamics that we must be aware of? In fact, there is actually. Um, to develop the firm's competitive advantage, it requires innovations and new strategic actions. The firm's success in the initial delivery of effective product and service and its competitive advantage must be sustained as competitors will always look for new opportunities and new strategies to gain the competitive advantage. Business laurels are gained through sustained and consistent strategy innovation and development. Can you help us elaborate it more by giving us sample questions? Oh sure! You see, multiple market competition is the scenario where firms are competing in several products and geographic regions. Example is the competition between Smart and Globe that provides different products to cellular phone users in and outside the country. They provide a lot of incentives and promotions to get the greater share of the market and get better return on their investments which are already in place through their transmissions facilities. Another example of this competitive dynamic is the proliferation of the Quarta Padala through the different concepts all over the country like Palawan Pawn Shop, Cebuana, and M. Lewillier. With the advent of advanced communication, they get more payoffs with these services using their countrywide network of branches. It outclassed the old post office systems of money remittances and bank, and bank transactions and required many requirements. Thank you, Ms. Shane Takas Takas, for that wonderful knowledge that you have shared. I hope many here are able to understand your statement. Thank you, and I do hope so. Bye, everyone. So let's move on to our next guest. Let us welcome her, Miss Mary Jane Sata. Welcome to our show! How are you feeling today? I'm also good. And hello everyone, I am Mary Joy Sata. Just call me MJ for short. And thank you for this opportunity. We are also thankful for accepting our invitation. So now that we are all settled, let's get down to business. Can you share with us your knowledge about the dynamics of global competition? No, the global competitive scope and your graphic competition is increasing in the intensity as the superpowers in the world economy is pressing pressures on the third world countries or developing nations to reduce barriers for the entrance of their products. 
for developing countries to be globally competitive, the terms of investment for the development of the industry must be put in place. Investment in terms of capital will also come from countries with surplus or money that is not fully utilized in their home country. The climate of investment must be transparent and above the board of corruption. Wow! Thank you for that, Miss Mary J. Soto. Thank you all so for having us today. Stay pretty, stay healthy, and guide. We were very glad that you made time for us today. So let's move on to our next guest. Let us all welcome Miss Pearl Patlunan and Miss Paulette Tan. We are glad that you both accepted our invitation to be one of the guests in today's show. Of course, we're excited to share our knowledge with all of you here. So before we start, how are you guys by the way? We are glad as well. Well, we're so glad to know that. Now, let's start talking about business. As our guests may have already known, today they are going to share their perception about the strategies of being competitive when it comes to business. So why is it really important to be competitive? Being competitive is an important characteristic in this industry and field which is marketing. And I learned that there are models of competitive strategy. And in this case, the word competitive isn't just a characteristic. Yes, that is very much true, Miss Pearl. Hoping that our audiences are already listening attentively. Take note, everyone. As Miss Pearl said, being competitive isn't just a characteristic. How about you, Miss Paulette? What can you share about this topic? This topic is significant to learn so that we can apply this to real life. This concept produces great and successful results in this field. Indeed. So, first, there are numbers of competitors which comes up with different variables for the market to size it up. So, SWOT analysis can be effective in here. And for those who don't know what SWOT stands for, SWOT means strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threat. Very well said, Pearl. Second is the market characteristics that are discussed as one of the most important components of marketing. Considering this can make the market better and more organized, leading them to success. Lastly, there is the quality and extent of individual firms strategies that simply talk about resources and strategies. This can be so important in building up employees and the company itself by improving or developing it. Thank you for that ladies. I am hoping that the audiences learned a lot today. Thank you for your time Miss Pearl and Miss Paulette. Thank you also for trusting us. It's an honor for us to be here today. Thank you. Now please do take your time to get a short bathroom break or maybe go and get some snacks as we will have to continue later on after a short commercial break. Stay tuned! our topic for today, the dynamics of competitive rivalry. That is correct everyone and I am actually quite excited to introduce them to all of you, to all the viewers out there. Well, we'll be back. Recently, competitors in businesses will not rest until they will be able to catch up and overtake the leaders in the industry. With the help of our prestigious guests, we will be discussing the strategic response to the competitor's action. Let us welcome with a round of applause, the representative of the Business World Organization, Ms. Andrian Casho and Mr. Ama Jezri Santikan. Welcome, 
Miss Andrea and in Mr. Jezri. Thank you for being with us today. It is a pleasure to meet you both despite the situation. So, to make it short since you are busy with your business, right? So, can you tell us more about the strategic response to the competitor's action? As we can see, competition in the market and business hinges on the community and their resources and market na siya that influences the drive of competitive behavior as they engage in competitive rivalry. Motivation to respond to competition, ability in terms of resources and technology, and lastly, the similarity of resources and operational capability. Firms will more likely attack their competitors with the low market commonality that the firms offer multiple markets. Competitors are going to be out there, they're going to be doing stuff, but the truth is most of us businessmen always work back forward from the customer. It's just like an overriding principle for dealing with competition and just building your mindset. Great! So how about the motivation and ability in terms of resources and technology? So another factor that must be considered is the technology that is available to rivals attack. Technology is a great factor in product improvement and innovation adding to its competitive advantage. On the other hand, it requires new investments and training, new manpower to address innovation. Rival firms will have higher um, stakes in terms of investments in trying to gain an advantageous position over films operating in multiple markets. And you also have new companies coming into your industry trying to take markets to share from you and trying to take customers to form you. In business, we can't avoid it. We are dealing with competition every day. Wow! So now that we hear all the strategic responses as to competitors' actions, so Ms. Kasho, can you tell us why these things matter? Competition in the marketplace is good for consumers and good for business. So competition from many different companies and individuals through free enterprise and open markets is the basis of the U.S. economy. So when firms compete with each other, consumers get the best possible prices, quantity, and quality of goods and services. So one important of competition is um, a boost to innovation. So competition among companies can spur the invention of new or better um, products or more efficient processes. So firms may race to be the first to market a new or different technology. Innovation also benefits consumers with new and better products, help drive economic growth, and increase standards of living. So products that are commonplace today once were technological breakthroughs like cars, planes, phones, televisions, the personal computer, and modern medicines all show how innovation can change your life and increase prosperity. Thank you so much Miss Andrea and Mr. Jezri for coming today. I'm sure many aspiring businessmen out there and people who want to start a business learned a lot. So today, I hope we look for good things before starting a business and know more about our competitors. So allow me to introduce our next guest for today. Let us welcome Miss Missy Abueva. Hi everyone! Thank you so much Miss Missy Abueva for accepting our invitation. Of course, just like others, it's my pleasure here to be with you. So today Miss Missy, can you share with us what is tactical actions to competitive rivalry is? So um, competitive action, also known as tactical action, is the process through which a company develops or defend its competitive advantages or improves its market position. It assesses the level of rivalry among the existing businesses. Profits might be limited and competitive maneuvers can be made when there is a lot of competition. Price reduction, increased advertising expenditures, and investment on service product upgrades and innovation that are few examples. Okay, so do you have any advice that you would like to give us, Miss Abueva? Yes. Actually, there are three competitive advantage strategies. We have the cost leadership. In the business strategy, cost leadership is establishing a competitive advantage by having the lowest cost of the operation in the industry. 
cost leadership is a different fra price leadership. A company could be the lowest cost producer, yet not offer the lowest priced product or services. Differentiation A differentiation strategy is an approach business developed by providing customers with something unique, different and distinct competitors may offer in the marketplace. The main object of the implementing a differentiation strategy is to increase competitive advantage. Focus Focus strategy involves targeting your product to a niche market or target audience. The idea behind focus strategy is developing marketing and selling products or services to a niche market such as particular type of customers, a specific project line, or a target geographical area. Thank you so much for that information, Miss Adleva. Thank you for trusting and inviting me here. It's an honor for me today. Goodbye, everyone. Patuloy pa rin ang laban natin sa COVID-19. And together, we can beat the solution. P, bawal walang mask. I, isanitize sa mga kamay. Iwas hawak sa mga bagay. D, kumistansya ng isang metro. A, alamin ang totoong informasyon tungkol sa COVID-19. Protektahan natin ang sarili at mga mahal sa buhay. B, I, D, A, B, the solution sa COVID-19. Get down to business. Oh wow, you have quite a special guest earlier, Kate. That's right. I have actually learned a lot of things earlier from our prestigious guest. And I bet so was your audience too. Yes, we are also very much thankful for them. But let us not take too much time and please take the stage, my dear friend. With the help of our special guest, we will be discussing the factors that influence the likelihood of a rival's attack. Let's have a round of applause to the representatives of the Business World Organization. Ms. J.M. Alapan, Ms. Ashley Dial, and Mr. Mark Salon, an economic professor at UP Diliman campus. Welcome guests! Thank you for being with us today. It's a pleasure to meet you all despite the situation. So to make it short since you are busy too, can you tell us more about the factors that influence the likelihood of a rival's attack? As we can see, many businesses and services are opening despite of the crisis today merely because private institutions are closing and because of this many competitors will arise and they serve the same product service but they are both different depending on how they introduce their product well you are right actually there are some factors that affects the likelihood of the rival attack but there will be strategies on that those are the pioneering incentive strategies, organizational size strategies, and the last one will be the product and quality strategies. In the pioneering incentive strategies, it means that being ahead of the competitors by introducing a new or innovation into the market first. This is recommended because the pioneering strategy is very risky due to the fact that the firm is introducing a totally new, unknown, and unexpected product or service to the market. Uh, this can be also classified into two. These are the pioneer or the first move and imitator or the second mover strategies. Great! But can you tell us more about that? So, the first mover is a service or product that gains a competitive advantage by being the first to the market with a product or service. Being first typically enables a company to establish strong brand recognition and customer loyalty before competitors enter the arena. While a second mover strategy is a counterintuitive way of winning in many industries. It involves waiting for the first mover to prove a market and test it, 
but once the market is tested, it involves a fast move into the market. She's right. Many are mimicking and imitating service, but they also fight when they're in field. Like for example, Melty Shops. So I'll tell you more about organizational size strategies. Your organizational sizing strategy is fundamentally how you will adjust your structure based on changes in your size or operation tempo. Like in Melty Shops, they are in small business type, flexible and nimbleness. Allow them to create greater variety in their competitive actions as compared to large organizations. In product and quality strategy, it is the part of organization strategy related to quality. Quality strategy is part of market and productivity strategies with very high significance. In addition to product innovations in formulating quality strategy, the company must take into account the requirements of the markets and abilities of producer or the service provider. And there is no doubt that quality is a key concern for the company. And that's when the quotation matters, quality over quantity. We need to remember competition can lead companies into invent lower cost manufacturing process which can increase their profits and help them compete and then pass those saving on to the consumer. Competition also can help business identify consumers' needs and then develop new products or services to meet them. Wow! Now we hear all the strategies and factors affecting the business. Mr. Mark, can you share with us why these things matter? A business strategy creates a vision and a direction for the whole organization. It's important that all people within the company have clear goals and are following the direction or mission of the organization. A strategy can provide the vision and prevent individuals from losing sight of their company's aims. Thank you for coming today. I'm sure many aspiring business entrepreneurs learned a lot. Today, I hope you look for good things before starting business and know more about our competitors. For our next topic, we have two special guests and they will be discussing the dynamics of rival responses. Let's give a round of applause to Ms. Frankie Alamban and Ms. Lynn Navarro. Welcome to the show, Ms. Alamban and Ms. Navarro. Thank you for being with us today. It's a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Ms. Duldula. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, it's such a pleasure. So now can you tell us what exactly is the dynamics of rival responses? Competitors respond more frequently to actions taken by the firm with a reputation for predictable and understandable competitive behavior, especially if the firm is the market leader in the industry. The firm can predict when its competitor is highly dependent for its revenue and profitability in the market. So then the firm will make a competitive action that competitor will likely launch a strong response. And what about the competitive dynamics? Competitive dynamics concerns the ongoing competitive behavior occurring among all firms competing in a market for advantageous positions. It also concerns the ongoing actions and responses taking place among all firms competing within a market for advantageous positions. And I think Ms. Navarro has something to add about this topic. Welcome again to the show, Ms. Navarro. What can you share with us today? I would like to give my insights about important factors affecting competitive rivalry. Then can you give us your ideas about it? Well, the three important factors affecting competitive rivalry are the factors that determine the degree to which firms are competitors, the drivers of competitive behavior for individual firms, the likelihood that the competitor attack or respond. Lastly, Ms. Navarro, um, I would like to ask about what building and sustaining competitive advantage is and how does the degree of sustainability affect it? Building and sustaining competitive advantage is at the heart of competitive rivalry and the advantages greatly link to the firm's market position. It is influenced by how quickly a competitive advantage can be imitated as well as the cost. Wow, thank you so much for the wonderful insights. Thank you as well for inviting us today. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, thank you very much to our lovely guests who participated in this talk show about the dynamics of competitive rivalry. That's right, Miss Kate. Anyways, did you learn something from our guests? A lot. 
I was so happy and thankful for the things that they said, especially when they mentioned that competitive rivalry influences an individual's firm to gain and sustain competitive advantages. Yes, I agree with that. They even shared with us about the ongoing set of competitive actions and responses occurring between competitors. There is so much to talk about girls, but sadly, it's time to wrap up the show. Thank you again so much to our lovely guests for joining us today. And thank you so much for our dear audience for lending your time and efforts. Remember, firms continue to challenge their competitors to get the greater market share and sustain competitive advantage. And I am Kate Signora. I am Renz Ramirez. I am Shaibul Dudulaw and we're your hostesses for today. And this is... Let's Get, get Down, down to, business. to Business! Don't miss the new hit series MacGyver. CBS Tonight, 8, 7 central.